Let us discuss strategy number 3. In our earlier videos, we have discussed what is the case study problem and strategy number 1 and 2. So, in our strategy number 3, we are trying to bring more betterment, more optimized uh, query to get executed, which will require less time, lesser time and also the complexity of the query execution will be much, much less. So, here is the query. So, select student name comma c1 dot course name from student comma course c1 because ultimately student name will be coming from the student and the course name will be coming from the course. So, here we are doing the condition product between these two where student dot student number in select registration dot student number from registration where registration dot course number in so, it is a nested query, it is a having so many sub queries, it is having select c2 dot course number from course c2, where c2 dot course number is greater than com 300 and c1 dot course number is equal to c1 dot course number is equal to c2 dot course number. So, here you see we are having the nested sub queries and this particular query is working and you know this in means set membership. So, the student dot student number must be belonging to this particular set where registration dot student number will populate the student number list and this particular student number must be belonging to that, must be elements of that, then it will get satisfied and then the respective student name and the c1 dot course name will be coming in the output if all this portion is true for it, where registration dot course number in select c2 dot course number from course c2 where c2 dot course number is greater than com 300 that was the query and c1 dot course number is equal to c2 dot course number. Let us go for the relational algebraic expression and that will bring more clarity in our understanding. So, at first we are doing the selection operation on this course where course number is greater than com 300. So, why should I bother to consider all the courses available because only those course details will be required to contribute towards the output whose course number is greater than com 300. So, at first we are doing the selection on this particular course. So, what is the condition? Condition is course number greater than com 300 and similarly on this registration why should I bother all the tuples in the registration? Registration is having registration is having 4 lakh tuples, but we should consider only those tuples records which will satisfy this condition course number is greater than com 300. So, after getting my desired and filtered tuples from registration as well as from the course, then we shall go for the natural join on this course number. So, that is the initial operation we are doing. Now, on that I am going for student, we are going for natural join with the student on the attribute student number and obviously, in the output we will be getting we will be requiring student name and the course name. So, I am taking this one. So, that is very interesting that at first we are doing the selection operation to extract and filter out only those tuples which will be contributing towards the output from both course and from both registration. Then you are going for your natural join. Then you are doing the natural join with the student so that I can fetch the student name in the output domain. So, let me go for the complexity calculations in terms of tuple count. See, so from the course, if we apply this particular selection criteria, then from 5000, 5000, you are getting 500 because it was mentioned earlier that only 500 courses are there whose course number is greater than COM 300. So, now we are doing, so this part we have discussed here. Now, this part. So, from the registration, you are applying the same condition that is course number is greater than COM 300. So, 4 lakhs, 4 lakhs out of that you are getting 40,000. Now, you are going for this natural join. So, now join of the selected tuples from course and the registration. Selected tuples means this number of tuples. So, joining can be done either in not shorted fashion or in the shorted fashion. You know, here you will be having this multiplication, here you will be having this addition. Why you are going for multiplication, why you are going for addition, we have discussed that one in the earlier videos. And now, the resultant tuple will be 40,000. So, this total thing will generate 40,000 tuples and that will get natural joint with the student on the attribute student number. So, again joining of student with the result above. So, 40,000 
into 40,000 in case of the tuples are not shorted 40,000 plus 40,000 when the tuples are shorted on the roll number and then resultant tuples will be 40,000 because while doing the natural join it is adding more and more attributes but the tuple number will be with this 40,000 only. So now you are going for this projection operation. And you know that in case of projection, obviously the tuple count will remain the same. All of the attributes will get discarded who are not coming as a suffix, as a subscript for this pi operator. So 40,000 will be their resultant tuples, resultant tuples in the resultant table and this is the 40,000 tuples will be the output. So in this way, just look at this particular column, we are having 5,000, then 4 lakhs, then only 500 into 40,000. So, it is not like your 40,000 into 4 lakhs which we had in our earlier case studies, earlier um, policies whatever we adopted and then we are having this 40,000 as the output tuple. So, obviously from, from very simply with the eye estimation at least we can easily say that strategy number 3 is the best one compared to strategy 1 and strategy 2. So, this sort of optimization will be done within the database and before executing a query. Thanks for watching this video.